<laughs> well, Sweden wins 3 0, uh, yeah. which was an absolute shock, ending the 44 game unbeaten streak for the U.S. women's national team. The uh, last loss before that came in 2019, January of 2019 against France. Yeah. Rude awakening. Uh, rough start. Are you worried? I'm a, I'm a little worried. I'm a little worried. I, th- look, I think the 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 remaining two matches, uh, as of w- you know when we're recording this, the uh, the match against New Zealand had already has, has already happened. I'm assuming U.S. women won that game because they can't have any other, anything besides a win it will be absolutely devastating um, uh, t- for their chances to to move forward. But they should uh, win uh, and have one against New Zealand now. The concern here is finishing second in the group. If Sweden finish, finishes first, U.S. second, the knockout rounds are going to be quite challenging. Uh, it's either going to be against the Netherlands or maybe Brazil. Who uh, cares? We're the U.S. women's <laughs> national team. <laughs> Interesting. They, they're all worried about us. Brazil's like, oh, no, if they finish second, we, they might have to fa- we might have to face them. Look, we haven't lost in how many matches? We haven't lost since January of 2019. It don't matter. We got punched in the mouth and everyone realized like, oh, okay. Mm. This just ain't a continuation of the World Cup. <laughs> they actually came out to play. And this is, remember, this is our A squad out here. And th- this is, but this is my uh, concern. And we talked about this when the Olympic roster was announced. The the, the roster, I think the Olympics are like a, just a, a bit of a different tournament. They don't feel exactly. It's U23s. It, well, no, not necessarily that. But, not, not necessarily, but it feels like it's a younger core that comes out. Right, It's right. a bit of a different energy. For, yeah. Yeah, for the men's side, it's, it's always a U23. It's U23. But, but what but I mean is even the on the women's women, side, they, they, but, but, other, other nations are giving chances to younger players. Right, right. Yeah. My concern here a little bit is the the the, the roster choice. Tobin Heath getting called in when she hadn't really played. She was dealing with an injury. Julie Ertz dealing with an injury. Not that they're not good players, but they didn't have the reps up until that tournament. Which you know the, that this is why they're going to be a little bit rusty or shaky, and I think, bro, I think we saw that in the game against Sweden. You worried too much. I <laughs> them braids are too tight, my guy. Look, we're the squad everybody's afraid of. Look, we got caught lacking, mm-hmm. not a problem, right? We're out, we're good. Okay. And all of a sudden, we got one loss. Rather that happen now than after the group stages, right? Uh-huh. I'd rather take that loss and that L right up front. So now Vlaco, his first loss as manager, by the way, of the women's national team, right. he could sit there and say, now I could dust off this speech I had ready in case of a loss. <laughs> he could blow the dust off that thing, and he could read it, and now the team is going to be inspired, and I have a feeling from here on in, they're going to be way more dangerous than we've ever even seen them before, or in, in the same style we saw them in the World Cup. Yeah, so I- ladies... Go do your thing. Yeah, also, I, you should have brought Ashlyn Harris. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I, I feel bad for the teams that the, that that they're they're going to be up against because I you know not many teams have faced the U.S. women after a loss, uh, uh-huh. so it's going to be a little bit of a different energy. Okay, we're going to be shoulder uh, you know ch- checking people from time to time, going a little harder in, uh, uh, in certain challenges. So they're going to bring the boots they wore during the Thailand match. Watch, <laughs> I promise. You. This is going to be a wrecking ball from here on in. 